Welcome to Crash Map Video Tutorial 4. Crash queries, crash results, crash reports and collision diagrams. This tutorial explains how to run crash queries and how to analyse and review crash query results. This tutorial also demonstrates the crash reports available in Crash Map and shows how to use collision diagrams to assist with interpreting crash details and identifying crash patterns. The Crash Query tool is found on the Crashes Query slide out side panel on the left side of the screen and is accessed by selecting the Crash tab option. Users have the option to run query searches using a selection of area options or by using the Add Road option and then selecting a particular road section or intersection. The Add Road Search option allows users to input a road name or road number and then select an SLK start and end for a road section. Alternatively, you can select an individual intersection by choosing the same start and end SLK point. Users also have the option to save and load previously saved crash queries. Let's look at an area search example using a polygon area. First, we will use the location search option to navigate to the location of interest. In this example, we will look at Craigie Drive Joondalup. Using the Add Polygon Area option, we can define a boundary to run a crash query. This is where the crash data layer can be used to assist users to define the extent of their polygon boundary by showing users crash locations to assist them to include all relevant crashes when creating a polygon area. When the Run Query button is selected, Crash Map provides a query summary where you can either accept the results or return to your query. Once the results are accepted, the Crash Results window appears and the crash symbols are displayed on the map. The crash symbols displayed on the map show the crash severity of each crash, where a red triangle represents a fatal severity crash, a blue square shows all hospital severity crashes, a green circle is a medical severity crash, and finally a diamond shape with two different pastel colours show property damage major and minor crashes. Multiple crash symbols displayed at the same location use a display order that places higher severity crash symbols on the top of lower severity crash symbols. You may have noticed that a number is shown on some of the crash symbols. This is to show locations where multiple crashes have occurred at a single geographic point. This can happen either at intersections or where multiple crashes occur at a single SLK point on a road section. You may have also noticed that when the crash results window is displayed and you hover your cursor over a particular crash in the list, the associated crash symbol on the map is highlighted so that you can relate the crash list with the crash symbols on the map. The crash results window also has a number of filters that allow users to filter the crash query results. 
Using the filters not only updates the crash results list, but it also updates the query summary, crash reports when generated, and any displayed collision diagrams to reflect the selected query filter selections. There are a number of crash reports that you can create from your crash results including a crash factor matrix, a crash behavior matrix, a crash patterns report where users have to consider the locations, road, hierarchy and area type. This information is easily determined by switching on the road hierarchy and legal speed limit layers and using the identify feature tool. A detailed crash report with the option to include or exclude crash descriptions where available. Now let's look at how to display and work with collision diagrams. Users have three main collision diagram display options. You can select to display all collision diagrams, you can remove all collision diagrams and you have the option to display collision diagrams by selecting a crash symbol and displaying collision diagrams one at a time. The collision diagrams that are displayed on the screen can be dragged and grouped to assist you to understand your crashes. Grouping your collision diagrams can also assist you to identify any crash patterns. You can also remove individual collision diagrams from the screen by clicking the X that appears at the top right of each collision diagram when you hover over it. In this example, the collision diagrams are filtered to remove all the property damage crashes so that we can see if there are any casualty severity crash patterns. As you can see, we only have a pattern of right angle intersection crashes at a single intersection in this example. However, both of these crashes involve bicycles, which may be worth further investigation. You may have noticed that a collision diagram control panel appears at the bottom left of the screen when your collision diagrams are displayed on the screen. This allows users additional functionality when working with your collision diagrams where you can lock the collision diagram panels on the screen, scale the collision diagrams if they are difficult to read or to make it easier to work with a large number of collision diagrams on the screen. The control panel will also let you know if any collision diagrams are displayed off the screen. This is particularly useful when you have a large number of collision diagrams.
you are also able to hide your collision diagrams. This may be useful if you want to display some of the layers when the map is getting a little cluttered. The hide option is very useful as it will retain the location of any relocated collision diagram, particularly if you have taken the time to group your collision diagrams to better understand any crash patterns. Whereas, if you use the Removed Collision Diagrams option, when you redisplay your collision diagrams, they revert back to default locations and you will lose any work you have previously completed grouping your collision diagrams. To validate the details in your collision diagrams and also to gain a greater understanding of particular crashes, you can review the details provided in the Crash Details window. The crash details are displayed when you click on individual crash symbols displayed on the map. However, make sure that the Add Collision Diagram option is not switched on, otherwise clicking the crash symbols will only display collision diagrams. The Crash Details window has two tabs that contain detailed information about a selected crash. The Details tab shows information about the main crash details, such as crash severity, date and time, where the crash occurred, including a location and description, a crash description when available for casualty severity crashes, the crash nature, ROM code, light and road conditions at the time of each crash. Reviewing the crash description information shown in the crash details window is a good way to gain a better understanding of what is happening in particular crashes. It's also a very good way to build your road safety engineering knowledge and experience. The vehicle tab shows information about the vehicles that were involved in a crash, directions of travel, movement information and details about any roadside hazards struck by errant vehicles. This concludes the Crash Queries, Crash Result, Crash Report and Collision Diagrams tutorial. Please refer to the Crash Map User Guide if you require any further information about these features.